Right, if you're offended by swearing, you really do not want to watch this video. Okay, so, Paz has himself a gaslighting, straw manning, disingenuous, lefty, fucking communist, fucking bullshitting, soy boy, latte drinking, lentil bashing, absolute disingenuous cunt, trying to make out that Paz is a bad guy. Now, unfortunately, Paz is just too nice to say it the way it is. So, Mr. I drive around one of the most fucking commie fucking socialist because there's both types in that shit fucking absolute blithering miserable fucking piss hole that you come from and believe you and me that fucking place suits you no i've heard you talk why because paz said i've got this bloke that's given me a bit of grief what do you make of him i was forced to watch one of your fucking videos and let me tell you i came out all the more dumber for doing it literally everything you say is complete bollocks now i've worked out why you could be this fucking disingenuous. And believe you and me, it's hard even for the biggest cunt to talk as much shit as you do, but somehow you are absolutely fucking fluent at it. And I worked it out. That because you're the dullest cunt I think I've ever seen on YouTube, given a couple of others maybe up to your speed, but you are one of them, right? That you're trying to appeal to the opposite sex or maybe the same sex, that's not limited really. And the only way you're gonna do this is not through character or excitement, because let's be honest, if you weren't so full of shit, your dulcet tones probably put a person to sleep. But no, I think that you're just trying to get laid. Or you're just trying to get friends by being woke because there are equally as empty and shallow pillocks like you, which live on the woke train and which believe that by being more woke and outwoken each other, they get some sort of status out of it. Much like Islam, the one that's the most religious in there can look down on the others. And I believe you think you're doing this. And um, Paz was nice saying that you'd work really hard to get 9,000 subscribers. But as we've worked out, the world is absolutely fucking full of pillocks. So 9,000 subscribers on the left is no big deal. And they will subscribe to every woke wanker that's talking absolute bollocks to make themselves look woke. So all you've got to do is work out what common sense is, go the opposite way, whoopie do. You've got a fucking winner with the left. Problem is, you're not honest. You're not honest about Brexit. You're not honest about Paz. Oh, that's it. Let's talk about stalking indeed. Now, Paz and I were slagging fucking Belfield off years ago on live streams, etc. I especially was, but there again, I'm a cunt. Paz, however, is slightly more well-mannered than me, which is nice. However, we knew that he was a narcissistic, sociopathic, disingenuous cunt. We didn't even think he was right wing. We actually thought that he was just saying this, just trying to get some sort of subs and build base off people who were right wing because there were kinks or, or, or you know, strains in the armor because I just didn't believe it. And having come from, say, for instance, the BBC, something you'll probably love, although you'll probably tell me it's right wing actually, but there you go. Um, no, coming from there, we knew full well that it wasn't right wing, but there was something about his essence, something about the presence of the man that made us very uncomfortable. A bit like yourself, actually. Now. I've looked at you and you've got that reassuring, patronising smile and what you do is you go passively aggressive at everyone. That's a weapon of the left all day long. You know, I'm not saying you're this and then you state exactly what you think they are and then reiterate again that you're not saying it. And then what you'll do is a Kathy Newman. I suppose you absolutely worship her. No, you'll do a Kathy Newman and straw man the living fuck out your people. The other thing I noticed you did in a few bits of clips about Alex Belfield, somebody you've stalked quite heavily because You've not left Alex Belfield. You've literally gone after and on and on and on. He's living in your brain rent free, isn't he? Does he hurt you? I mean, if he is hurting you, you need to get some counseling, right? But also Paz, because Paz is doing well on YouTube and people like him and he's got a personality, unlike yourself, right? This guy really gets on your tits. And he's also saying the things that are truthful that you really can't handle. And so he looks at Twitter. Well, it's full of you wankers, isn't it? And we love to point out the inaccuracies and the wrongness of you wankers, because what you do is you take the facts, and then if you don't like the facts because they don't go along with your woke shit, bullshit fucking agenda, right? First thing you do is you go after the reputation of the person saying it and try and wreck that, because well, that's one of your little bitch techniques. I mean, in the old days, you used to take your ball away in the playground, didn't you? But we've moved on, right? So. You will then go after the person and you will attack the person. Tommy Robinson, he pointed out there's a load of shitheads up north that are fucking kids. And they just happen to be from Islam. But no, because they're from Islam, immediately the racism alarm went off in your head. 
must go after Tommy, must call him racist. The fact that most of his friends are of different colours, right? And he has lesser white people than he does black people and fucking Indian people because he comes from Luton, you thick cunt. You couldn't get that in your head, could you? But no, you crack on. And this is what you do. You don't look into the fucking, the whole point of his case and take apart the argument. You take apart the person, personally, and you go after them that way. Much like I'm now gonna do to you. You can see how it feels. But I actually have watched a load of your videos. There are some things that you say that we agree on. Right, for a start, the government's not right. But there again, have you seen what a Labour government's like? They're just as bad. If you actually think that these people are hark back to the original, because I mean, let's be honest, when Labour was set up, it was set up for the working man. But it's not about the working man anymore at all, is it? It's about how many people lobby those cunts and give them shitloads of money and they go along with those ideas. I mean, take for instance, if you were after the working man and looking after the British working man, why would you flood the fucking country with people that want to work for nothing or nothing? It's shit on the people that end up getting used. And believe you and me, I've been in some industries and I see these people get used and it's shit, right? Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to flood the market with labor so it devaluates you know, how much people are going to work for, right? Because we know that actually works. But there's so many things about labor that's wrong, apart from the, you know, Keir Starmer, uh, Diane Abbott, who's that ginger fucking Egypt, and many, many others. But if you think I'm gonna defend the Tories, or conservative parties, anybody normal calls them, right? No, I'm not. They're a bunch of cunts, absolute wankers. But the thing is, what you're doing is you're working out that your side's better than our side just because you don't like us. It's not about you realize that that fucking bunch that you supported actually are as big a bunch of shit houses as any other government. No, nope. you want them back in because it purely upsets us, and you've won. You're the sort of people that would take down the country just so you could spite the other people and fuck what happens to you. Now I've been around, unfortunately once or twice, lately, that place that you come from, and I have never come across a bunch or concentration of more sick individuals, mentally, physically, it's a fucking hole. And you'd probably be quite high up. You, you probably are pretty normal in comparison to the rest of them, so well done on that. I don't, I don't know how fucking mentally damaged I'd be if I come from Brighton, to be fair. I mean, I suppose there's a few people, but you know, it's nice when you drive around those, the posh areas and you see the posh trying to ignore the fact that all of these immigrants are walking around them while deeply hating them at the same time, right? And also seeing all the damage that immigration's doing. But to be fair, you lot love this because I've seen the way that you've painted that shit all up and you call that art. Personally, I reckon it looks more like some fucking third world fucking country than it ever does <clears throat> Brighton and Hove, which was one day or once a very, very beautiful part of the UK, but no, you lot have ruined it and you think it's good. And I mean, if you're happy living in that kind of shit, brilliant. But you wanna spread that shit up and down the country. You think that immigration's a good thing. Personally, I fucking hate it, all right? But you call me a racist and I couldn't care a fuck. You call pals a racist for coming out the obvious points, but couldn't give a fuck, right? Everything you stand for is bad for the country. Now, as I say, I can't actually say that everything you've ever said is wrong because I have agreed. This power crisis that you're going on about is very real and we do need to be doing something. And do you know what? Despite my disdain for you personally, if I actually thought it would do something good, I'd work with you. Seriously, because regardless of our disgust for each other, which is obvious, okay, if we don't work together, and by the way, some of this hatred for each other, the system's put into place, by the way. But if we don't work together, by the way, that's a union, you're gonna love that. They're out striking there, bless their hearts, and I agree with them. They should be getting paid more and looked after more. See, that's probably something we agree on. However, if the left and right don't work together, by the way, we're finished. So, if you can work out how to be not so fucking disingenuous, not straw man, and actually face some facts, literally, as they face you, and deal with it. Oh, and by the way, I bet being a virtue signal is still not getting you fucking anywhere, is it? I mean, I don't know if you've got a miss, is there? I mean, miracles do happen, obviously. But if you do, well done. But, ugh, 
I can't see how virtue signaling a bit, a bit of a fucking soy, is really going to make you appeal to the women. But, you know, I could be wrong. There are strange women out there. But if you did actually man up, right, and face some of the fucking the problems that we have facing us, if you did that, I bet you'd find yourself feeling better about yourself. And women would like you more. And the men around you'd pat you on the back and actually think you're a man rather than a, well, pussy. So, I hope this video gets to you. As I say, I'm not going to name you because A, that's a bad idea, and B, I think your obsession with Belfield uh, and doing videos about Belfield and your obsession with Paz is purely trying to grift a few more subs. So by me not naming you in this, you don't get your wish. See how this works? Anyway, crack on van driving. I know you've probably got 150 fucking drops because they treat you guys like shit. Something that, by the way, if we hadn't had mass immigration where these poor bastards work for lots of delivery companies for fuck all, you'd be on more money and you'd have less drops. But hey, immigration's good, right? Well, you have yourself a good day. And to Paz's uh, subscribers, I hope I didn't swear too much. Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon.